Hi friends, this is Beth with Indiana Wild and we're back with another edition of Meet the Animals at Indiana Wild. Today we're featuring an animal from Australia, actually from the deserts of Central Australia, and that is our friend here, T-Rex. Now T-Rex is a bearded dragon, so he's a reptile. He has all the same things that reptiles have. He has a backbone. He breathes air with lungs. He's cold-blooded, so remember friends, we're warm-blooded, so if you take your hand, put it on your forehead, our body temperature stays the same, it self-regulates, but he's going to be the same temperature as the air around us. Now, since he's native to the desert, he likes a dry, hot heat. So his enclosure is actually really, really warm. Now, also, he's an omnivore, so that means he eats a little bit of meat and potatoes right there. He's got some strawberries, some leafy greens. Now, as bearded dragons, um, when they get older, they'll eat a little bit more greens. But I'll tell you, um, this guy, while he likes his strawberries, he likes his leafy greens, his favorite is right here. Those super worms, he loves them. It's a little bit of the predator prey show, friends. We can only do that, well, until we run out of super worms. Um, but again, he is a reptile. He has a backbone. He's cold blooded. He breathes air with lungs. He's covered in a dry, scaly skin, and he hatched from an egg. Now, some other features of him bearded dragons are diurnal. So remember, we've met some our nocturnal friends, and even those who are crepuscular, who are awake during the twilight time. But diurnal means he's awake generally when we are. He's awake during the daytime and he sleeps at night. There he goes. He's going to get another one of those super worms. You better get him before he goes off the table. Good job. Now he has some awesome features. You can see his ears right there. And um, he's called a bearded dragon. There's actually around eight species of bearded dragons. And that happens when this right here, when they get um, upset, they get stressed, they get fired up, what happens is they will actually um, puff up or even flare up their throats. And the darkening of the skin underneath there is what we call those bearded dragons. Um, and also, with them being like dragons, they have an armor of spiny reptilian scales. So if you look, he's got these little scales right here. He's got the scales right there on his face. And actually, when you pet him, they're kind of soft. Um, but if he would become upset then he would poof everything out and it would become a little bit harder and it would make it pokey. So that would protect him for those. Are you going to get it? He didn't get it. All right, there you go. It would make it um, harder for a predator to eat him. Now, the cool thing, he is a predator and prey. Now, there are some animals who would eat bearded dragons. Come on over here. Do you want this? Um, but he would eat a lot of different types of of invertebrates, animals without backbones, kind of like that super worm. There you go. Now I'm going to move him over here. Oh, there you go. We'll put him back on his rock here. Put him right there by Australia. Again, he likes his strawberries and things like that to eat. Um, also his leafy greens, his bugs and his insects. Reptiles are amazing, friends. And just like any animal, whether it's a cat, dog, anything, um, always make sure if you handle reptiles or any other animals, wash your hands. That's something we're reminded of daily with the coronavirus. No matter what, when you go outside, friends, keep your hands washed. Um, if you can get outside right now, go outside, enjoy the sunshine, uh, take in nature, be kind to one another, and we just hope you have a great day. We'll see you here again tomorrow. Thanks. Remember, check us out on Facebook, Indiana Wild.